data engineers often hit a wall in their career after they hit senior data engineer and they think like, hey, I've already finished data engineering. I kind of understand it now. Like I, you know, I understand SQL, I understand pipelines, I understand data sets, I understand the whole domain. And a lot of times in that case, those cases, those data engineers kind of get bored and they're like, well, how do I grow my career from here? How do I keep gaining technical skills? Like where to go from here? Uh, I definitely noticed that I hit that wall uh, in my career around like 2018, 2019. And what I decided to do was just switch, right? I switched to doing backend engineering so then I could get better at like REST APIs and scalability and really working like with like online systems and stuff like that. And that stuff was like a really new like refresher for me so then I could like feel like I was still growing my technical skills while not being like just stuck in like the the airflow spark data pipeline like regular just like rhythms right because after a while yeah you do really get comfortable in that space and like it doesn't feel like you're learning as much so that's one layer that you can do right another layer that you can do is to focus on like teaching and mentoring and leading and kind of those soft skills that you need to be a good leader I'd say that those are kind of the two different ways to go and branch after you hit senior engineer is you either kind of like go into more technicals and like try to get a broader skill set because then you'll be able to really kind of branch into like ML or the data product space or full stack engineering or like all those other things. And like if you can have those skills along with the strong data engineering skill set, it'll be incredibly valuable. Uh, the other way to go is like the leadership way and you really can do both, right? Where you can like, learn leadership and learn new technical skills. And if you can do both, that's when it's really amazing because then that's how you become like CTO material, right? Because then you have the data engineering and the analytics to like be able to make good decisions. You also have the architecture and full stack engineering skills to build a really awesome product. And if you can do those things, like that is really powerful. You'll be unstoppable if you can learn those things. So don't think that you have to just only go deep in the data engineering domain as you grow your career. There's definitely, you're definitely gonna fill that pole in another direction, right? Either to like go more, go deeper into data science or into more into engineering, really depends on like what you're interested in. But definitely keep an open mind as you grow your career and don't feel that like you're kind of stuck in a dead end position. Uh, if you like this, follow for more.